Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be seeing how we can integrate DALI 3 into our .NET Web API. We're going to be creating an API where we can take inputs from the user and based on that we're going to be generating an image. I'm Muhammad and if you'd like to learn more about .NET, AWS and Azure as well as well OpenAI, please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Now let's get started. So what I have here is I have a sample web application. It doesn't really contain a lot of information. All it has is the templated code that usually you get when you create a new application. It has the weather forecast controller and basically this is it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by adding a new package. And the package that I wanna use is gonna be the following, the OpenAI NuGet package. And if I go here, I don't wanna use the stable version, the version 1.11. What I wanna do is I wanna use the latest one. So if I go to versions, I wanna utilize beta 7. And the reason that I wanna use version 2.0 is basically it contained the latest changes that's needed in order for me to directly integrate with DALI. That doesn't mean that with version 1 I couldn't do that, but with version 2 it's a much more enhanced experience. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go back to my terminal and I'm going to install it. And now we can see it has installed successfully. Perfect. So the next step is I'm going to go to my controller and I'm going to add a new class. And in this controller, I'm going to call it image generation controller. Great. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the same boilerplate code, just put it here. So we'll have a controller that we can actually utilize. And that should be it. So now that I have this here, have this here, and let me just fix the naming and add all of the reference. We should be ready and good to go. So I'm just going to copy this and put it here. And that should be it. So now with here, what I have is basically I have my controller ready. I'm going to, I don't want to need this. So let me remove these. And basically I can now st start by adding my actions. So the first action that I want to add is going to be a post action to generate an image. And it's going to be the following. So I'm going to put HTTP post. And then from here, I'm just going to put public async task i action result i'm gonna just call it post i'm gonna call it here string and this is gonna be the prompt that the user is gonna be providing and now what i want to do here is i want to actually start by initiating my open AI. so we're gonna put our image client equal new image client and basically here it's gonna ask me what do i want to use in order for me to do so so we can see there is the models there is the api key and there's any options so i'm just gonna first start by defining the model and this is going to be DALI 3. And the next one here is going to be my API key. And basically, I already have created this. So I'm just going to copy paste it here. And don't worry, I'm going to be deleting this API key before I publish this video. And now, basically, now I have created my image client. The next step is I want to start building my image request. And basically, within my image request, I specify all of the different configuration that I need in order for OpenAI DALI you know, to return to me the response. So I'm going to put var image request equal new image generation options and here i'm going to specify all of the different configuration that i need so we can see here first the quality of the picture so what's the res resolution i can have it as high or standard i'm just going to have it as high for now then it's going to ask me for the size of the image and then what i'm going to do is i can i can see here i have all of these different options so just to make it easy i'm just going to have the default it's going to be 1024 by 1024 then it's going to ask me for the style and here, for example, there is different, you can, you can use natural, vivid. I'm just going to utilize a natural one. And basically, it's going to be the response format. So basically, once we create an image, I need a way to get it back. So you can get it back as streams and then basically save those streams into a file and then display it to the user. Or there's a different options where actually DALI will save that image into some kind of an online storage and it will give you the URL so you can access it. And this is what I'm going to be doing right now. I don't want to deal with stream to, I just want to make this video small and simple. So now that we have this, I'm just going to tell it that the generated format, I'm going to request it as a URI. So now that I have specified the different options that I needed from a quality to style to response format, now I want to put everything together. So I'm going to put var response equal await image client dot generate image and then now it's going to ask me for the prompt which is going to be whatever the user has provided and then it's going to ask me for the options i'm going to put the image request here and that should be it so now that i have got this now what i want to do is i want to return back the response so i'm going to put return okay response dot value dot the image uri that i needed so now that i have this let's build our application and see what do we get so now inside my web browser i'm just gonna open up my endpoint here and basically we can see i have my new controller and if i click on try it out now let's ask for a prompt i can say for example i want 
a cat typing on a laptop inside a car for example and if i click on execute this will take a few seconds to complete and now we can see it has finished and right now if i take this and now let's open it up in a new tab we can see i was able to get my image which is basically a cat typing on a laptop inside a car and we can see all of this has happened just because i have created this prompt here so now i can change this saying for example i want a formula one car inside a hotel room for example in Beirut. let's see how good it's going to give me this answer I doubt it's going to be very accurate, but let's see. And we got the response back. So now if I open this, we were able to see that I got a Formula 1 car inside the hotel room inside Beirut. We can see the Lebanese cedar here and we can see the rock outside. Okay, great. So now we can see that our application is actually working and we were able to get everything that we want to. Now let's go back to my source code. I'm going to close this and I'm going to add the following. So I'm going to create a new endpoint, HTTP post, and I'm going to give it a route. And I'm going to call it custom image. I can call it whatever I want. And it's going to be also public async task I action result. I'm going to call it custom image. It's going to also take a prompt. And I'm just going to copy paste the first one. And now what I want to do is I want to basically explore the different options that I got. So I'm just going to take these as well. And now I'm going to put var response similar to what we have done before await image client dot and this is what i want to do so as we can see here right now these are all of the different options that i can get whenever i'm trying to create an image so we can see here this is the one that i use which is going to be generate images async and as we can see there is also the generate image edits there is a generate image variance and there is generate image edit async so let's try this so i'm just going to take the generate image edit async and we can see here it's gonna allow me to provide it an image for example or a path to an image and then i'm gonna give it the prompt and let's see how it's gonna do so i'm gonna for now provide it with an image i'm gonna provide it directly with a prompt and i'm gonna give it the image request that i have and this needs to be changed so i'm just gonna put image edit equal new image edit options and i'm just gonna put this here while i fill it up so I'm just going to copy this here, put it here. And now let's see all of the different options that we got for an edit. So the response format, I'm going to take it the same as the URI. As for the size, I'm going to also take it the same as the size before. And as for the user, I'm, I'm not going to fill this up. So now this is for the edits. Now I want to specify an image. And just to make this pretty straightforward, I'm just going to put an image here and then refer to it. So that's an image. So I'm going to create a folder here. I'm going to call it www root and I'm going to inside of it have a folder called images and I'm just going to put my image here. And this is the image that I have. I'm just going to rename this so it will make it easier for us to refer to it. I'm just going to call it sample. That's it. So now inside here, what I want to do is I want to refer to this one. So it's going to be slash images slash sample PNG and www root at first. Perfect. So now what I want to do at the end is I'm going to return the OK with the response dot value dot i and i'm going to delete the image request because we don't really need it and this is going to be i think there's going to be a problem with this path but let's see it so i'm going to run this now let's go back to my web browser and let's go back here i'm going to refresh this here and now we can see i have custom image i'm going to click on try it out i'm going to say add a i don't know a cup of coffee to the image something like that i think it's going to give me a path error yeah uh, let's try to figure out this so the problem was is basically I have been referring to Dali 3 and Dali 3 does not support custom image edits. So I'm just going to put Dali 2, click on apply changes and now this should work. But again, it, it doesn't really work well. It's still, a, I think, a work in progress. So I can say, for example, add a sun and let's say some and trees. It does not really work well with the image edits, but let's try the variation. You can see the request is being processed and we got back the response. So now if I take this, add it here, we can size. Um, I'm not really sure why, but this is how it's actually being utilized by the variation. So now let's do the last one. And the last one we're going to be doing is going to be the variation. So I'm going to put var image variation. Actually, let's put it in its own control action just to make it uh, in a more structured way. I'm going to put here image variation and this is going to be the same thing and here i'm going to put image 
variation options and within these variation options we're gonna get almost the same thing as before the response format the size and here i'm gonna put generate image variation async and then within the image variation we can see that the requests are a bit different so let's see what they are so we can see they want the file path the image count i'm just gonna put one and the image options so i'm just gonna put it here as my image edits and for the response what i wanted to is i'm gonna put dot value dot you can think put zero and i can put here the image uri because here we're telling it how many variation do i want so if i put two i would have updated it here so with this, this should be more than enough for now we're not going to be really needing a prompt so i'm just going to delete this and basically the image variation it will create a different version of my images so let's try this i'm going to run this and now i'm going to go to my web browser i'm going to refresh it and then within the image variation try it out execute okay great let's take this picture right now and let's open it here and we can see i got an image variation and let's see if we run it again what will happen this again and we can see here it also created a different thumbnail i think it's just basically analyzing this in the thumbnail and creating a new one but we can see that the image variation work i don't know how useful it is going to be but i know we know it's work that has been just a quick video to see how easy it is now to actually integrate dali within our dotnet web api all we needed is a few lines of code in order for us to get it up and running all we had to do is just basically put this together and basically get an api key get the prompt set up the options and we were able to jump start this if you like this video please like share and subscribe it really helped the channel if you have any questions comments please make sure you put them in the comments down below and if you'd like to support me please consider supporting me on patreon or buying me a coffee with that said thank you very much for watching and have a great day